Hello everybody, welcome to Daily Dictation 185. Now, you guys did good with DD 184. That was from a sitcom, a very small conversation. You guys did really good. So, in DD 185, another sitcom. But this conversation will be almost impossible. If anybody gets the answers correct, I will be super impressed. And I will think, maybe you cheated. <laughs> you can cheat. Now, remember, when I give you a situation comedy, all you hear is the audio. So, I have a link down below for the video. Watch the video and it will help. And eventually YouTube might delete the video. So, the name of this sitcom is Seinfeld and DD185 is from season 9. Uh, the program is called, oh, I left my DVD at my office. The program is called The Passion or The Fire or The Burning. The Burning, yes, it's called The Burning. So it's right in the beginning. Anyway, DD185 in a minute. We need to go back to DD184. Let's listen again. What are you doing? <laughs> what? Did, did you just double dip that chip? Excuse me? You double dipped the chip. Double dipped? What, what, what are you talking about? You dipped the chip, you took a bite, and you dipped again. <laughs> okay, here are the answers for just the blanks. What are you doing? Did, did you just double dip that chip? You dipped the chip, you took a bite, and you dipped again. Let's go back to the top. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Now, the pronunciation I want you to focus is, uh, on are these three words. What are you? Now, what's interesting, when we say this really fast, what are you and what do you sound the same? What are you? What are you? What are you? Okay, which one? You guys, you guys guess which one? Am I doing do or am I saying are? So do is one hand and are is two hands, okay? Are you ready? Do is one hand, are is two hands. What are you? No, you're wrong. 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 I'm teasing. You can't know the answer. If you're listening to a conversation, you can't know. You have to listen to the verb. So if it's an ing verb, it's an r. If it's a regular root verb, it will be a do. But be careful because the ing has three sounds. We can say ing, we can say in, and we can say un, which is basically a schwa sound. Ing, in, un. Doing, doing, doing. What are you doing? What are you doing? In this case, it sounds more like doing, doing. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? With your expression, it sounds angry. What are you doing? Did you just double dip that chip? Did you just double dip that chip? Did you? When we have a D and a Y next to each other, we can get a J sound. Did you? Now, you has three pronunciations. We can say uh, you, we can say ya, and we can say ya, okay? These are the three common sounds, you, ya, ya. Did you just... 
to j, 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 j. It's almost a j, y, y. It's more similar to this y. It's more of a y, y, y. A very short y. Did you just, did you just, did you just, did you, yeah, we could say you, just the S scales the T. Did you just, did you just double dip? Did you just double dip? Did you just, did you just, did you just double dip? Double dip that chip, double dip that chip. Double dip that chip, double dip that chip. Sounds like hip hop. Double dip that chip. Did you just double dip that chip? Now, this is funny because there isn't really the expression to double dip, okay? So actually this is a this is a verb, double dip, to double dip something. But we can understand a chip, once again, is like a potato chip. I have corn chips. These are corn chips, but it's it's a chip, one chip. And yes, in England, in the UK, in Scotland, I'm sure too, in uh, GB, they say crisps. So this would be these would be crisps, but in America, they're called chips. If you go to the UK and you say chips. They will understand French fries, okay? So in the UK, a very famous food is fish and chips. That's deep fried fish and French fries, okay? So it's a little bit confusing. Remember, American English and British English have many differences, especially in words. So here we're talking chips or British English crisps, okay? And some people with chips, they like to put the chips into cheese or salsa or guacamole or sour cream or some other kind of sauce, okay? A dip. The sauce is called a dip. And the verb we use is to dip. So to dip a chip into dip. Dip a chip into dip. So you take a chip and you dip it in and then you take a bite and then you dip again is a double dip. Two times dipping, a double dip. Did you just double dip that chip? Did you just double dip that chip? Now the boy is angry. He doesn't like it. Did you just double dip that chip? Why? Because it's dirty. The chip went to my mouth. Oh, that's gross. That's disgusting. Your, your spit and germs are on the chip and now they're in the dip. Ah, keep the dip. I don't want the dip. Ugh, you double dipped. Yes. Um... Many cultures do not like double dipping. It's very uncommon in America to double dip. People do, yes, people do, but it is kind of dirty. Some cultures, it's okay. Some cultures, they have one big bowl of soup and people eat from the same bowl of, oh, this is good, yeah, everybody's eating the same bowl of soup. Some people do that. You've got one sauce and people dip their vegetable sticks in the same sauce and some people do that. Some cultures like that, but the American culture hates it. Ugh, it's gross. Did you just double dip that chip? And and George, at what? What 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 do you mean? What what are you talking about? You dipped the chip. Now, these two sounds are actually similar. We can say the D, the T, and the TH, both the TH and the V, so there are two THs. These are all similar sounds. And when similar sounds are next to each other, we connect. So we don't say part-time job. Part-time? No. Part-time? No. Part-time. Part-time. We connect and just keep the second. Dip the Dip the, you dip the chip, you dip 
the chip. You took a bite, took a bite, you took a bite, and you, and you. Now here the N is canceling the D. The N canceled the D. We had uh, the S cancel the T. Here's the N canceling the D. And the N continues. It sounds like N U, N U. So yes, Andre, it does sound, sound like new, new. It does. But of course, it's N U dipped again. N U dipped again. N U dipped again. Okay? So the pronunciation, pay attention. One more time. What are you doing? Did you just double dip that chip? Did you just double dip that chip? You dipped the chip. You took a bite. And you dipped again. Let's say it together. This time, normal speed. Are you ready? One, two, three. What are you doing? Did, did you just double dip that chip? You dip the chip, you took a bite, and you dipped again. You can't do that. That's disgusting. I don't mind. You can double dip your chip in my dip. As long as you're not spitting all over your chip. Don't spit on your chip, then you can double dip your dip your chip in my dip. You dipity dip dip dipity doo da dipity day. And listen two more times. What are you doing? What? Did, did you just double dip that chip? Excuse me? You double dipped the chip. Double dipped? What, what, what are you talking about? You dipped the chip, you took a bite, and you dipped again. <laughs> what are you doing? What? Did, did you just double dip that chip? Excuse me? You double dipped the chip. Double dipped? What, what, what are you talking about? You dipped the chip, you took a bite, and you dipped again. <laughs> DD-185 is expert level. Very, very difficult. This is a conversation between a boyfriend and the girlfriend. The boyfriend, his name is Putty. And the girlfriend, her name is Elaine. And Elaine is going to drive Putty's car. So before Elaine leaves, before she drives, before she takes off, Putty is nagging her. He's telling her what to do and what not to do. And you have to do the dictation. It is not easy. This will be very, very, very difficult. Do your best to not cheat. However, I do want you to watch the video. So down below, I'll put a link. And I hope the link stays on YouTube. So watch the video. If the video is not there, buy the DVD. The Seinfeld DVDs are worth the money. Great English, great English expressions, and real, authentic American pronunciation. A little bit New York, but that's okay. Seinfeld DVDs are a good investment. And remember, if you buy the DVD, you get the captions. And no, I don't get any money for recommending Seinfeld DVDs. I should get some money. I should try and get some money. Maybe I'll create an Amazon account and have you buy Seinfeld through my Amazon account. Then I can get like five cents. <laughs> anyway, get Seinfeld. Do the dictation. It's not easy. Thank you very much for joining Daily Dictation. And uh, tell your friends, share our videos, share it everywhere, wherever, all the different social networking sites and uh, keep growing our channel. Let's make it bigger and better and bigger and better and bigger and better. Don't forget our new channel, Daily Easy English. Every day, every day, 365 days a year, one new simple short English expression. A three minute lecture, only three minutes every day. Go there, check it out, register, tell your friends, and once again, thanks a lot. Follow me on Twitter. Ciao! And 
follow me and then you can get a picture and you can get an audio recording it's all good stuff thanks a lot everybody have a great day tomorrow friday friday night live south korea time 11 p.m be there on google plus bye bye Careful, car bag. Yeah, yeah. Don't move the seat. I gotta ride where I like it. Goodbye. Two and ten, bed. <laughs> okay. Don't peel out. I won't. All right, be careful, car bag. Yeah, yeah. Don't move the seat. I gotta ride where I like it. Goodbye. Two and ten, bed. <laughs> okay. Don't peel out. I won't. Careful, car bag. Yeah, yeah. No move the seat. I gotta ride where I like it. Goodbye. Two and ten, bed. <laughs> okay. Don't peel out. I won't. Right. Be careful, car bag. Yeah, yeah. No move the seat. I gotta ride where I like it. Goodbye. Two and ten, bed. <laughs> okay. Don't peel out. I won't. This class was approved by T. Oh, I'm T.